Morning everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we uh, are gonna be doing a bunch of pressure washing because we finished cleaning out our manure lagoon. There's still a lot in there, but we do this every spring. We leave all the solid material in the lagoon and later on this fall, we'll empty it all the way down. This is a 10 foot deep pit and it's probably on average six feet out now. So we'll take that other four feet out of solid material later, probably in August. But since we are done pumping all of the liquid manure out of our pit, that means we got a lot of pressure washing and cleaning to do, which is what I'm gonna start with today. Uh, we gotta clean our wheel loader from when I cleaned out the corrals. I didn't do it after we were done that because we went straight to hauling liquid. So we gotta clean the wheel loader as well as the tank and the MX-285. And then we got a little bit of solid manure to spread yet with the bunning manure spreader. So we're not gonna clean that. We're gonna start with the case wheel loader. I just got to grab a shovel and shovel the corners out. So the outside of this thing's dirty, but I'd say that the inside probably could use a vacuum as well. Yikes. So this is our generator shed. We got our pressure washer in here. It's looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna go and clean the rims out now. There's really no way you can win doing that. No matter where you spray from or where you're standing, where you're trying to hide, you always seem to get some ricochet back on you. We're pretty close to being done cleaning that wheel loader, but I gotta go and watch my boy Max Verstappen put it on pole in Miami. Qualifying for Formula One is on, so I'm gonna quickly 15 minutes watch the end of qualifying here, see how that goes. You guys should let me know in the comments if you watch Formula One too, and uh, who your team is. Well, that definitely could have went better for Red Bull and Max, but oh well, since we're in the lunchroom anyway, I saw this comment on the last video. Uh, he's asking if we were just gonna build a bigger employee lounge, but we already have a really nice one So I figured I would show it to you guys. This is what we call our lunchroom 
We've got two tables there. You can fit like 10 people. And then we have kind of the kitchen here with all the cabinets, the fridge, microwave, dishwasher, coffee machine, and a Keurig. And then we also have the flat screen TV up there. So pretty good actually for the dairy barn. We have another office where we'll have like more formal meetings, I guess you would say. But this is where we have coffee every morning at 10. It's kind of a uh, regular thing. We try for 15 minutes, but I'm sure you guys know how that goes. Sometimes it ends up being longer, but that's enough. I'm gonna try and finish washing that wheel loader before we start milking this afternoon. So all we got left on this wheel loader is the bucket, the front and the back. So I got the special, I believe this is called a vortex bit. And you can see it work in slow motion here if the pressure washer isn't on. It's just a small stream that spins in circles. But when the pressure's up on this thing, it spins so fast you can't even see that stream. But it does a really good job peeling away hard to uh, clean surfaces. So we'll use that on the inside of the bucket here. I just barely didn't clean that loader. There's just a little bit more to do. We'll have to finish that after milking. So we're gonna get milking going here this afternoon. First gotta take the washers off the wash trays and then we'll grab the cows. Well, we're back in the milking parlor, which is the first time for me in over two weeks. It's been quite a long time since I've been in here, just because we've been hauling manure for such a long time. But we're milking with uh, Naleen here. How's it going? Good. Do you want a coffee? Uh, sure. Yeah, right on. There is a calf in the maternity pen over here, so we're gonna grab it and put it in the calf pen. Then we're gonna have to milk this fresh cow or heifer at the end of milking. This mama had a calf. Looks like a bull. That's a bully bull. Look at this guy, he's already trying to stand up. He's literally 20 minutes old. There you go, dude. Thanks. <laughs> it's a pretty awesome day out here in Saskatchewan. Nice enough to have the door open. Look at these pots my mom put up in front of the barn. Usually she does flowers, but these are looking pretty awesome. She went for a little tree or bush. There's one on all corners of the barn there and then two in front of the overhead door. Looks pretty awesome. done milking the first and second group from the freestyle barn. Now we got to milk our special needs pack, which is on that side of the pack barn. But this is always when we bring up the fresh cows that have just calved to be milked for the first time in their lactation. So we're going to grab 1262. That's the lady that just calved that bull calf. And we're going to bring her up into the parlor along with the special needs cows. 
That's a good girl. So this is our fresh cow right here, 1262. She's a bit of a tame cow in our milk herd, but we're gonna give her a calcium bolus now. Uh, cows are prone to getting what's called milk fever. This is something they can get with the fresh calving. It's basically a calcium deficiency in their body. And this is pure calcium, so it prevents them from getting milk fever. So it could be a little uncomfortable for the cow, but it definitely saves a lot of cows, and it's pretty quick and easy. We just finished milking up. We're gonna finish cleaning this case wheel loader. We just gotta do the bottom back of the bucket and then we're gonna be done. This thing's already looking pretty nice and clean. But before we finish that and it gets a little bit darker outside, I'm gonna give you guys the first build update on our new feed mill. They already poured the foundation for the shed that's gonna be there. So we're gonna go and check it out quick. So the framers came by there on Friday and dropped a bunch of lumber off. And they brought a tell handler and a man lift as well. It's just because they're going to frame this up. I believe they're going to start Monday. They brought all of their equipment over. It's the same guys that framed up our pack barn last summer. So it's good to see them back here. But this is going to be the shed that we're going to be putting the roller mill, or sorry, hammer mill in. So that's just going to go in one of the corners. I imagine there's also going to be an electrical room in a se separate room just to keep things nice and tidy. We have a single man door all the way in the back here and then that's going to be an overhead door so that we can drive pallets in here and store them so me and dad have been talking about if we're going to heat this shed or not i said maybe we should because bags of minerals or something like that they can sometimes freeze up and then clump together it'd just be really nice to heat this shed it is going to be insulated so it's not just going to be a stick frame with tin on the outside it is going to be insulated so we might as well throw a heater in here or that's what i was thinking anyway but that's just something we've been talking about the foundation is pretty simple. It's just concrete slab with a two foot concrete wall on there. And then they got foam on the outside, plus the plywood. It's gonna be all the same color, I believe, as all the other buildings on our farm. So it should match pretty nicely. But yeah, this is the first little construction. It's happening pretty quick. I told you guys like not even a week ago, I think, and we already got the foundation on the ground here. So you love to see it go that quick. The framers also drop these lifts off. So that's the Genie man lift. And then that's the tail handler. I imagine it's pretty overkill for the shed they're gonna be putting up here, but this is what they use, so pretty cool. That is one clean loader. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps the channel grow and I'll catch you guys in the next one.